Hello and welcome to Altcoin XP. My name is Anthony. Today I want to give my thoughts about the security of my Ether wallet. I'm in my grandparents' house, uh, so I'm away from the studio that I had set up. Uh, this house is kind of awesome though. This I'm in the room that my uncles grew up in. Uh, my grandfather built this house in I think the late 50s. So uh, one of my uncle's beds is behind me filled with all my junk, and then there's another bed right here. In my last video, I was questioned for uploading my Ethereum key store file and password to their site. I'd like to explain why I'm okay with doing what I did. So let's get right into talking about uh, my Ether wallet security, uh, why I use them, why I trusted them, and what you can do if at the end of this video you still don't trust them. First, I don't prefer using my Ether wallet or really any software that doesn't come directly from the Ethereum developers. Uh, there's a few reasons for this. Uh, number one, I like having a full copy of the blockchain when I do research and testing. Uh, it's convenient for me to have a copy of the blockchain downloaded already this way I can interact uh, via command line or whatever if I need to. I don't have to worry about uh, downloading a blockchain or anything like that. Number two, I want to experience Ethereum at its core. Uh, if I'm going to invest in something, I need to experience the software the developers are putting out uh, so I can get a feel for what they can create. Uh, I need to know they're not all talk. Number three, uh, I don't have time to audit every wallet and figure out uh, their degree of security. Uh, no wallet's gonna be perfect. There's always gonna be trade-offs between security and ease of use and all that. I'd rather go like as secure as I can at the cost of convenience because I'm not sending out a million transactions, you know. I don't have a need to use uh, more convenient wallets uh, and Core does everything that I need to. So those are the reasons why I use a Ethereum Core wallet. But if I don't like using the third-party wallets, why did I trust one in my last video on ENS? Well, that's simple. My Ether wallet has an easier user interface and more community support than Mist. It was simpler to use my Ether wallet for my last video compared to figuring out how to use how to do it in Mist. As for why I trust my Ether wallet, well, number one, uh, I guess the biggest reason for trusting them is that my Ether wallet has been around since I got into Ethereum two years ago. I constantly saw Taylor from Mew uh, posting in the Ethereum subreddit, and through that she's earned my trust. As I saw, she is part of the Ethereum community and wants to see Ethereum grow. Uh, she's not someone trying to scam people to make a quick buck, but uh, more importantly, reading her posts has let me see how knowledgeable she is in both Ethereum and in web design. Uh, number two, uh, another reason that I'm okay with using Mew uh, is that I know that there are ways to interact with blockchains without, uh, without revealing your private key or password to them or to third-party servers. Also, I know it's possible to create secure wallets from websites such as bitaddress.org. Uh, that's a, a Bitcoin website that you can create uh, Bitcoin wallets and brain wallets and all that. So I, know, I do know that it is possible that there are ways for these sites to be secure. Uh, I'm a bit out of practice, so I don't remember exactly how this is possible but I do know it is possible for browser-based wallets to be secure. Uh, let me know if you want me to research further into uh, how it is possible that these websites can be secure and stuff, uh, and then I can make a video about it. Uh, number three, well, there's two more reasons I used Mew for that video. The guide I followed was written specifically for my Ether wallet. So that made it a lot easier to use Mew than it was to use Mist. Uh, as you can see in the first video, I failed at using Mist because I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, now I actually do know how to do everything in Mist, so I'm going to show that later on in this video. 
and second, uh, I'd like to work with uh, my Ether wallet in the future and make tutorials for them. I sent them an email about that uh, last week, uh, if I could help them out uh, in exchange for being compensated or whatever, uh, do some tutorial videos for them. Uh, if you want to see videos like that, uh, reach out to my Ether wallet. It's info at myetherwallet.com and ask them to reply to my email. Of course, because I trust Mew doesn't mean I would put all my eggs in one basket. Uh, I believe it's best to create a key store file in MIST and only put a small amount of Ether in attached to that key store file, then use that file for my Ether wallet. This way, if anything happens, you only lose a small amount of Ether out of whatever you have. So the last thing I want to cover in this video is how to run the ENS contracts directly from, from MIST. For those of you who are, who are still uncomfortable with uploading your keystore file to my Ether wallet, uh, what I'm about to show you uh, completely eliminates how to do that. Hey guys, Anthony from the future here. I want to show you real quick uh, how to run the ENS contracts that I was using in my previous video in MIST instead of in my Ether wallet. So what you have to do is go to uh, use existing contract and let's say we want to use the ENS registry. Then we just copy this uh, JSON interface, uh, select all and copy. And then now we can go here into MIST, go to contracts and then watch contract. And you can give it a name, we'll give it uh, ENS registry and just misspell it. Maybe I shouldn't misspell it. Just to future proof myself. And then we copy the JSON stuff here and we copy the address. And okay. So I already had it added, but that's how you would add it. So now all this stuff here within the contract should be the same thing that we uh, have access to here. So for the functions, we have resolver, owner, uh, set sub node owner, and blah, blah, blah. And uh, set sub node owner, set resolver, set owner, and set TTL, and then uh, Right here we have resolver owner and TTL. So uh, yeah, so that's how you do everything in MIST. So now that we saw that how to run these contracts in MIST, uh, there is another security issue uh, that I see that hasn't been pointed out to me. So how do I trust the contracts I'm getting from my Ether Wallet's website? Uh, specifically in my video, I interacted with two contracts who I don't know the author of. These are contracts posted on the My Ether Wallet website, and I didn't seek Ethereum devs to verify the contracts were safe, uh, nor did I know if Mu wrote the ENS resolver and ENS registry contracts I used. I don't know where they came from or anything. Also, maybe it's possible there could be some type of man in the middle uh, where the contracts on my Ether Wallet's website get replaced by someone's malicious contracts, or someone can hack into my Ether Wallet servers and upload their own malicious contracts or something. It seems like there, like there has to be a way to verify these contracts. I'm just, I don't know what it is at the moment. Uh, so that's a security issue that I see. So that's all for today guys. Overall, I do trust and like my Ether wallet. However, like I said before, I don't prefer to use my Ether wallet. Hopefully I explained the reasons why I felt it was okay to upload uh, my key store file to my Ether wallet. Biggest reason, or the two biggest reasons is uh, I trust Taylor. They've been, she's been around for a long time. So that's it. Like, subscribe, donate, share. Find me on social media and support me for more videos. Check out the description below for more information on that. 
uh, the next videos I have coming up will be an Ethereum Uncle vid video and a video explaining the Altcoin XP business plan uh, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for your continued support and the emails and uh, messages that I've been getting saying thank you and all that. Uh, I reply to every single one. It really means a lot. So thank you and goodbye.